as well as uh, to Coca. Uh, to Mr. Mr. Macaluso's uh, motion for Pro Hoc Vice is forthcoming. I just wanted to introduce him to the court. He, I will be handling right, he's, the motion he's today. He's out of state? Correct. All right, so the, the court hasn't ruled on that. All the uh, Correct. I'll be handling the motion today. In, fees being paid and all that. So I, I assume he's not going to speak today? No. All right, thank I you. Go ahead. Okay, Judge, uh, we're here on, on two motions. Uh, first being our motion uh, for a state of release of discovery, and the other one, the motion for a protective order. I'd like to address the uh, motion for a protective order first, as I believe uh, the Orlando Sentinel is here to respond to that, and they've uh, submitted a motion to intervene as well. And I believe the county is, is represented as well. Um, first off, Judge, the facts as to what they pertain to uh, surround uh, my client's uh, private photo bucket account. Um, just to give the, to educate the court a little bit about what photo bucket is and how it works. Um, there is a server, client service, where you can post your photos to either stay private, and you can also have them uh, become public. Um, my client had several accounts with PhotoBucket, um, many of which, despite what has been reported, many uh, of these photos or images, I should actually refer to them as images because they don't only deal with photographs. Um, I would say there are a couple thousands, a couple thousand of these images, and um, many of which were downloaded or uploaded, I should say, uh, to this account a very minimum a year prior to uh, Kaylee Marie Anthony becoming missing. Um, what we're asking the court is a very narrow motion. We're asking them uh, to specifically uh, preclude the release of irrelevant photo images or images as they relate to the um, to the photo bucket account. The discovery that I was that was turned over to myself consisted of two different CDs. One of them dealing with filtered images, and one of them with non-filtered images. And what my reading of the discovery. Uh, if, if that's correct, it appears that the filtered images are the more relevant, according to what these, uh, with the what law enforcement believes is directly related to the case. As the non-filtered uh, disc is more of a absolutely everything, which would include those images that um, that uh, that my motion uh, actually covers. If I may approach, I'd like to. So the court a small sample of what I'm referring to. Now, um, what we're, just, what we're dealing with here is a privacy matter. Uh, I don't think that um, the I don't think that these images are related to the case in any way. I think that uh, we have an issue where um, law enforcement executes a subpoena, and obviously they're entitled to take what they feel are relevant to the case. And it's our position that if the state feels they want to use any of these images, of course they select the ones that they feel are relevant to the case, and they can submit those in discovery, and whereas these irrelevant images should stay as they are, private and irrelevant. Um, I think uh, what we have here, I, I think the court can take a look at a couple of examples, one of which was submitted in my motion, uh, that, it come, that, that basically covered the photograph of my client at a party prior to Kaylee becoming missing. And that photograph eventually made its way into a Barbie doll and eventually uh, was 
goods for sale on eBay. Um, there are numerous examples of a lot of these irrelevant issues becoming the center focus of, of this actual case. And I give the court another example. In the recent discovery that was released, a photograph was turned over in discovery of a diary. Well, that diary was written in 2003. It wasn't even confiscated by the police during the search warrant, but yet they took a photograph of it, submitted it into the uh, actual discovery, and all, all over national news became the topic of this di diary as to when or when it wouldn't have been written. I think it's issues like this, uh, irrelevant issues like this, that are becoming the cornerstone of a lot of what's going on in this case, Trust, I, I can, I can uh, ask the court to trust me when I tell you, the last thing I want to do is be taking up the court's time with these types of motions. I'm sure the state, as well as myself, are more... It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, we're, 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 no, I, I realize that, but trust me when I tell you, neither one of us want to be in here having these types of motions. We want to get down to the case. Yeah, I understand. I, I guess my question to you is, uh, there's, you, you mentioned a couple of times that they're not relevant. Legal relevance is something I'm even considering at this stage. It's discovery. I guess my question is, how do I stop news from being news? Well, I, I think the court. Um, I and think and the I, court. I say that with all due respect. I realize some of these things are not uh, really, uh, you know, real uh, wonderful for your client. But, but uh, and by the way, have you gotten? I guess it was the Sentinel's motion to intervene. Have you taken a look at that? Yes, I have, Judge, and I, I can address that now or after they... Well, I, it, bottom line is they say that they had the photo bucket account for the photographs from that uh, long ago. They do not. They have, there's, like I said, there were several accounts. Uh, they, these images, or a majority of which, have not been released, and uh, it, they're not out in the public.